What's up guys, this is Mark from DS Genie and I'm making a video especially, well, I'm targeting two things in this video. One, those of you new um, DS Genie members and two, well, those of you new GS and those of you who have having trouble finding profitable items, right? So I know a couple of you guys who recently joined, joined DS Genie never drop ship before never use your software and just join and i love that maybe you like my beautiful face maybe i don't know why but you join so this video is for you guys um i'm trying to put everything into perspective in this video so it may, a little, may be a little longer than possible as uh, longer than i want to as well as um, other than putting things into perspective, I'm just going to show you what you should be doing with the software, right? So just to give you a quick roundabout of what the whole DS Genie system is, or DS, the way to drop ship on eBay. So I always say sell what sells. So basically you have to sell what already sells on eBay. Now in order to find what sells on eBay, we find other drop shippers who are selling successfully on eBay find the top selling items that sold at least four times a month that still has margin that we could beat their price and sell for a lower price and list the same item at a lower price. It is that simple. No excitement, no bullshit, no buying fucking um, Facebook ads. Sell what fucking sells. And the DS Genie software makes that easy and very possible and it saves a lot of time so let me not fucking waste too much sorry i'm trying not to curse let me not waste too much more of your time i am trying not to curse guys it's not going to be zero cursing but it's going to be less i'll try not to curse for just for no reason because i like to curse so remember what i said sell what sells and you need a seller's list right so those of you guys i, I would, may not go in order but those of you guys I'm going to delete this whole cell just so you guys could, could um, know I'm not cheating. To so those of you guys who select all, I want to delete. So you starting, so this is for you guys who are starting from scratch. You have nothing, you have no sellers, you never drop ship before. So again, sell what sells, find competition, find the top selling items, beat the price listed, boom. No more excitement. Keep it moving. The purpose, build a long enough sellers list so all every day you wake up, snipe five items, snipe type items, go about your day. Come back day after. Snipe five to ten items, go about your day. Again, I'm repeating a lot of this for you guys who just may have forgotten, may have lost your way. Just so you could just get into the groove. Wake up every day, take a sellers list, snipe, keep it moving. Before you do anything, you should build a sellers list, right? So let me see. So, in the beginning, you have nothing. You go to eBay and you want to find a drop shipper. I, let me not try to go the same route as, as I always do with men's mountain bike. Let me try to think about a different, let's see, what else can we, what else can I search for? A random ass futon. I like black futon. Did I ever search for that? I don't think so. And the thing is, it's hard for me to like not cheat because I've done this so long. This black futon just seems too cheap to be drop shipped, but I'm going to check anyway. <laughs> this is a, this is a, um, remember the only reason we're doing this is to start the whole process, right? We want to find a drop shipper. I know that's a Walmart item and chances are that is classic 365 with the numbers I see sold. Um, metal black and one trick that, not a trick but one thing you want to try to do which may not always be possible is to try to find items that are not top rated sellers now that may not be possible right now but anyway that's this looks like a dropship item just because I see two people in a row selling it and it's not warm it's not Amazon because most Amazon images have white backgrounds and I just know too much of it so I'm just opening all these Windows again. I'm doing it live so you guys can see what the fuck is going on. I've never seen this drop shipper before. A top rated plus. I doubt he's a drop shipper, but let me check anyway. More. I've did I have I ever seen a drop shipper that's top rated plus? I don't think so. I may have. But 
but this looks like a Walmart description, to be honest. Let's see if I copy it. And remember, I'm dealing with some like third old ass internet. Do you, you guys who watch my, ah, I can't copy it. You guys who watch my videos know. So let me just stop these things from loading. That's slowing down my productivity. All right, let's search for this description. All I want, again, I'm repeating myself. This part of the process, I simply want to find out if he's a dropshipper. It's crazy. All these people selling for 99? I wonder if all that motherfucking, all of that stuff are dropshippers. I've never seen an item before. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Could that be a, a weird fear so far? That would be interesting. It sucks because we don't currently try. Okay, maybe not. I just find that too cheap to um. So I most of the time I wouldn't waste my time for two reasons. One, I find it too cheap, and that's just from my experience. And two, he's a top rated plus. One, I don't think it's a dropshipper because it's a top rated plus, but. I also don't want to compete with top rated plus. I don't mind competing with top rated. I told you, classic 365. I don't want to start with classic 365 to have all you guys in the same shit. Okay, this looks like a Walmart item. So let me see. I've never seen that dropshipper before. So that should be, this should be interesting. This dude. Yeah, I've never seen that dropshipper. Wow, that's strange. I've never seen him before. And it's Walmart 125. 137, Jesus. That is some shitty ass margins. Really? 137, he had to be getting some good discounted gift cards. That's definitely a Walmart item. Let me just make sure that's the same one. That is too cheap. And again, I'm not editing this, guys. If this is a little longer than you want, I'm sorry, but I'm going through the whole process <coughs> so you guys can get some perspective on how long it would take. And I, I'm again, I'm doing a kind of commentary as I go along. So hopefully, you guys will pick up on some like tricks or whatever the fuck, right? Whatever. Sorry. So 124. He's a drop shipper. Um. Let me just see. All right, so let me just run him here. So remember, all you want to do is find he's a drop shipper, right? So you want to start with him. I'll add him to my sellers list. So I go to my sellers. Do, do, do. Add seller. So I add a seller to his sellers list. But what I also want to do, I'm going to run him. Sellers, select. I want to run him to see if he has any item that's sold. So right, so this is a get seller items tab. What this does for those of you guys who don't know, and I'm going to try to, I might forget a little part, is it will plimage through <laughs> the listings of this competing dropshipper. This is I'm going to choose the number of item was sold. So I want an all through. I want Dieshini to go through all his listings and pull out all the listings that sold at least four times. I used to do, two years ago, I used to list items that only sold eight times, but as drop shipping, has got, drop shipping on eBay has gotten more competitive, things have changed a bit. So while Dieshini is doing that, right, so it's gonna run through, yeah, he's definitely a drop shipper because I know some of these stuff. While Dieshini is doing that, I am going to keep looking. That's a cool thing. I want to say that's, that's um, Walmart as well. And he's not a top rated seller. So that's fucking sweet. Let me see who this is. Hmm. Okay, no. This. Yeah, classic three sixty five. I just, I just, 
<laughs> I don't. There's a secret about Classic 365, but I'm not gonna share it. I think I'll share it in 2000, 2017. Something interesting. So we've seen this before. Hopefully I can copy this. Okay, I can't. I'm not just, all right, let's see if the issue is done with this. It's still going through. So let's reopen some other sofa. This classic 365 is back. Right choice. He's another one. So he's another drop shipper, but I want to find some drop shippers I haven't seen before. Now, okay, I'll. So he is a drop shipper. I know that, right? I could confirm that by searching this, but I know that from before because I've, I, I have him on like, he's on the list of all three of my accounts. To be frank, this is actually a drop ship item. I'm sure. Why is it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I guess it's a UPC. But I just want to prove to you guys a dropship item. Yeah, this is a dropship on Amazon, right? Mainstay is a Walmart brand. So we know, we know it's a dropship item. Like I don't want to waste my time finding. You could do an image search and find the item. But remember, I'm not trying to sell this shit. I'm just trying to confirm it's a dropshipper, right? And a dropship item. So what you want to, again, you guys, when you just start, you want to find dropshippers on eBay. Look for basic, look for like, let me give you some hints. Look for like some common items. Um, bunk bed, cribs strollers, car seats, TV stand, futons, men's mountain bikes. Um, I'm just throwing out stuff, tree cutter, um, hunting gear, hunting stands, all those stuff you could do. Okay, hunting, tree. I don't even know what, um, what I think is called off the top of my head, but I've sold a few of them. So I'm just doing it so I could find some other drop shippers. There's a nice image, a nice image. I wonder if, I don't know if that's a drop shipper. Let me see if the Ashini is done. It's still working through that list guys. So in the beginning, all I want to do is find a drop shipper, check some items to see if he has at least four sold, right? So I'm sure this is for you guys who are new. So be patient and watch the fucking video, right? So DSH is running through all this stuff and I'll show you a little trick to get some more sellers. So remember you find one drop shipper, run through his stuff and I'll show you how to get some more sellers. And then all you do every day is come to your sellers list and pluck, boom, 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 boom. But let DSH do his work while we play around in eBay. I don't want to go after him again. I already have you. I'm gonna do a video about these sponsored links. Now I don't, I personally don't do any paid marketing. I've on eBay, I've done some training on it. I may, so this has three watches, right? Because she does paid marketing, Betty bargains or whatever the fuck, I'm guessing that all her prices are higher. But let me see what else she sells. It's a top rated seller. You can tell it's a drop shipper. Luggage, that's a good one. All right, so let me see. While DSG is doing his work, let me see what Betty Bargains is up to. What that does is, it, if I choose the last 15 days, the greens are what sold and the black didn't sell. So she's selling. She's selling some stuff. A fireplace, I guess it's winter. So that would have been nice to sell. So I can even, all right, so I'll come back to it because I think, all right, so DSG is done. Wow, this guy sells. So this guy has 39 items that sold at least four times in the past 30 days. Understand that. He sold all 39 of these things at least four times. So let's see, 
Then you go to my research. Where's my research? So the only thing we did, guys, is add a drop shipper to our list. But the thing is, his prices are low. And let me show you. I, have, I know a lot of these items. Jesus. So when you go into my research and edit, if you just click the image, yes, you will send, make Google do a Google search for that image. I know I'm getting a little off track, but I never saw that dropshipper before. Okay, so he scrambles his images, so it's not gonna do a straight Google search. So you wanna go, when you do a Google search and you get all only images from eBay, when you do a Google image search and all you get is images from eBay, you know they scramble the, the image. So what I'm doing is I'm opening his listing and I'm going to search for the description. That's an error because I copied too many words. So let me take half a description. Again, I'm trying to talk through as much as this is possible. So you guys, you see what I told you? It is a Walmart item. But I find his price is too cheap, just like the futon. Like I don't get, he's getting, uh, is that the same? Yeah, it is the same, he just used a different image. But look at this guy, so 79 and he's selling it for 88. That's just too cheap. So I wouldn't even, so I'm just cheating here because I knew before hand, right? I wouldn't try to compete with this guy, but what I would do, is I would use his listings. So let me show you. So I could go to my research, right? Hit him. So what I would do is I know his items are dropship items, right? So what I would do is I'll copy the title of a dropship item. That's so funny. I, anyway, I'll talk about after. Let me stop getting off track. I'll copy one of his titles, go to get seller from title, because I, what I know is this is a dropship item and this is the title of a dropship item. Although I can't compete with these, um, I would still run the title to see if I find some more dropshippers using that exact same title. Right, we found one, two, three, four, we found 10 dropshippers, 10 sellers selling with that same title. Now the only guarantee is that these 10 guys are using that like same, exact same title, right? What we have to now go see is if they are dropshippers. Chances are they are because Target or Walmart or any of those big companies are not gonna use L-Shape, Workstation, Desk Computer, Modern Home, because this, this title is to rank in the search. All those big stores don't do that. So chances are it's a dropshipper, but, so, but let's go see. So when I do this now, again, I knew I ran around circles, but you want to build a seller's list and then snipe from them. So when I do this now, all I did was I found one drop shipper. I took his title, put it in the get seller, get seller from title, um, link in Diashini and ran it. Diashini found 10 other sellers who are not in Diashini using that same title. So now we go to, to my sellers, those sellers are there. We would choose one of them and see what we get, right? So classic is there. These guys are there already because I ran them before, these numbers. But let's choose one, Shopper Bay, whatever, XIO. Let's choose one and see what results we get. So guys, once you, once the whole point of this whole exercise is to build a sellers list. Once we have, if you guys never sold before, have no sellers, have no listings, I suggest you get to at least 20 sellers. It's not a lot. I have like 700 or something now. But you want to get at least 20 drop ship, competing drop shippers, and then you run them, right? So let's see what, let me just see what, does he have nothing? So he has nothing that's sold in the past 30 days, so let's try again. And what you would notice is that when you run a seller, Quasi is a fucking boss. When you run a seller, it will come to the bottom and it will tell you the last time it was run.
So guys, all you're doing is finding dropshippers, building a list of dropshippers, and daily run through this the list, right? But let me just run, let me just actually do it. So what I notice, so while this is running, I want to clean up my sellers list, right? So my sellers. So check this out. This is a good, I like, I'm glad I'm doing this. So which one was it? This guy we can compete with. So what I want to do is I want to add a tag. I'm going to put can compete with low prices. So I want to add tag selected. I'm adding him to tag. So I could just not, I could filter those through and not like compete with him, right? Um, what else? I could tag him as no very low sales. And I'm doing this because you could, so this is a feature Quasi added. So you could organize your um, drop shippers, right? You can sell this. So you could now go hit one of these and hit filter by tag. And I will filter out those guys. You, I choose not to delete it and delete them. So, it, okay, so if I deleted a seller, I'm telling you all this while this runs through this list, right? If I deleted us again, I know I speak in circles, it's a recording thing, go back and forth, take notes and whatever. Anyway, back to what I'm saying. If I deleted a seller, if I do a get seller from title in the future, and he's used that same title, he will fucking come back on my list. And I would not remember that I tagged him. So the purpose of me tagging these guys is so that in the future I wouldn't waste time running his thing again and coming up with the same results, right? What I would suggest you do is to maybe rate your seller's list. Let's say you run, you run through Classic 365 and you take a lot of his items and he's a good seller. It has margin, he's, he has a decent amount with four sold, blah, blah. I would make three sellers lists, A, B, and C sellers lists. Personally, you also might want to separate them and mainly drop ship from Walmart, Target, Amazon, or whatever. But if you, if, when you, if you keep them in order like that, let's say you run Classic 365, you get five items in one day. Boom, add them to the A list, right? And so you know in the future when you want to run more sellers, you can just come out, okay, let me try the A list, let me try the B list. And that's important just for the future. I know today it may be work you don't want to put in, but if you could systematically do the same thing every day and make money from your home, why fucking not? All right, so it's still running through. It's almost done. So all right, let me see my sellers. So I cleared out those two. Do, 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 do. So the purpose is build the sellers list first. Once your seller list is built, then you know what to do every day. So sweet. So this guy has nine items to sell at least four times in the past three days. That is sweet. Like, come, like, ah. <laughs> I just love, I don't know why. Like, I just remember doing this shit in therapy and it was fucking horrible. Okay, so check this, right? Out of his nine items, I wouldn't even bother. To be honest, I wouldn't really mess around with the $18 item, 18. That's just me, right? I would start with the $100, sold at least six, sold six times, and this $42 one. I would start with those. And this goes to you guys who have problems finding things to sell. Because two things would be why you can't find things to sell. One, because you may not be full. First of all, you may not have at least 20. Again, 20 is nothing. But you may not have 20 people on the seller's list. If you just go through my videos and copy the fucking sellers from my videos, you can make 20 sellers. But whatever. So one, you may not have a, a good enough sellers. And two, you may be trying to slide these cheap shitty items that's it right so let's go for this big one see what's the deal 106 dollars 59 cents let's see if we can find some margin in this motherfucker and sweet so this item is actually this motherfucker like really um what do you call it what are marked items jesus calm down like i don't even know if google 
Google will find the item where the image, pre it did, strangely enough. But workbench and rack. No, I just want the rack. Because I think it's only the rack, isn't it? Yeah, it's only the rack. So it's $87. Yeah, so that's enough margin. 106. So let me just show you guys. I don't use this calculator in my daily daily life. I just, I know it. I kind of know the margins. 87 to 106. I know he might be making like 10 bucks. Around $10. But, um... I'm a jackass. I need this, the URL to list this thing. And it was 87. So on this page now, you put supplier price, 87. I'm just listing this because I found margin, right? Close that shit. Close that shit. It's, it's 745. I've been up for almost four hours already. This shit is great. Cause I can knock out two videos at eight o'clock. I need to head out, go buy a new monitor and a new camera, come back by 11. I still have time to take a rest. And um, where's that fucking thing? I still have time to take a rest and then get a couple things done this afternoon as well. Guys, I know this video is longer than usual, but I'm showing you guys exactly. You guys will just turn out and watch the whole fucking video and don't complain. So it's 87 bucks. So I put 87. I put it in supply URL. You don't have to use variation because there's no variation, no other price or size or whatever. And hit save. So this will take you to the next page. Don't hit click my item. Don't click anything. Hit save. Once you go to the next page, it will tell you what your profit margin is if you sold it at that same price. Now, you don't want to sell it. Okay, so check this out. According to the calculator, he's only making $6.61. Fine. The thing is, we buy gift cards from raise.com and, uh, and Cardpool, which gives you a 3% discount. So 3% on that $87 is maybe like two dollars and sixty-seven cents or two sixty or something. So if you add like two fifty to this, you'll actually be making nine bucks, right? So if I lower this to one oh five, one oh five ninety seven, I'll be making a straight six bucks plus the two fifty. I'll make eight fifty on that. Maybe you guys think that's not, not enough profit, but if I sell that motherfucker, 850, how many months in a year? 12 months in a year, if I sell four months, 40. If I sell 50 of these, that's extra 400 hours this year. That's just how I look at it. I'm a jackass again. <laughs> I need the description. Ah. I just want the rack. Come on. XRS 20 rack. I need a description from the, um, right here it is. Jeez, if this was, if I wish I sold this in Nicaragua, I'll buy it. Like I need a, a workout set to be honest so the description put that mofo there Doo -doo -doo. where is this thing you guys have seen exactly how I work come on baby again third will internet So that's, I, I think that's all, are there any specifics? Yeah, there is. So I would take model, yeah. Take that. Come on, baby, stop messing up. Copy. La, da, da. 
paste this move over here and go to the if you see DHN pulls all the information you need you're not gonna have to fill it out it saves you a lot of time most of the thing that the reason why we build DHN is to save time so check this out so all his fucking items uh, <laughs> I hate this but all his all his fucking images are watermarked so I want to move all and I don't even think I ever did a video of, of removing them because I think it's easy enough but <sighs> it is what it is it's part of the, 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 the game right part of the job I don't think it has a job jobs feels bad like I wake up every day and I'm just like what to do I have nothing else to do I might as well work right so right so before you do that so I click all of that to delete but I need to add the new images so I know it's an XR 20 what brand Gold gym, gym rack. what I'm doing here I'm just looking for the images to be honest I'm not doing anything exciting and remember eBay needs at least 500 by 500 so that's a good one. That's a thousand, two thousand by two thousand. Walmart has some big ass images. So we just want the rack. Okay, so we have some images here. View image. View image. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to download all these images and then upload them. And then upload them to the, um, to Diashini. Save. Understand. I'll delete this shit. Shit's after stand one. Close, close. My, the lazy part of me, I'm just doing this video for you guys, but the lazy part of me, if I could, stand three. If I could find drop shippers that don't have watermarked images, I just stick with those, right? That's just a lazy part of me. But I'm confident enough that I could find enough drop shippers um, without having to. Those of you guys who don't have as much as much experience, you're going to want to. You're going to want to. What am I saying? Upload. Hold on, let me see something. No, you can only do one at a time. Two, two, two. What was I saying? All right, <laughs> those of you guys who don't have a lot of experience, you're gonna wanna just, um, just deal with these idiots who have watermarked images, right? And add, add more. Right, so I added one. Do 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 to upload. Three. Upload. So after I do all of this, I'll summarize the whole process, right? So you don't like freak out and be like mark i thought you were making a video for us beginners i'm just doing the whole thing so you guys could pick up something it's, i'm not sure if this is the same thing because there's a little yellow thing and i i don't really want to go back and sometimes what I, okay so let me just i'm gonna do everything a lot of times you want to 
like fill as much as possible, right? So let me show you desktop. Let me go get those images, all right? Open with, I'm a basic ass person. No Photoshop, no excitement. Um, change. All I'm gonna do is change the direction of the video, of the image, I mean. And stand one, reverse. And do that for all the images so I have extra because I wanna fill, I wanna have as much, Im as many images as possible. I'm a jackass. So the reason for me doing this is so I have as many images as possible. It's the same bloody image, but for the um, for the eBay algorithm, they they give you some points for the more images you have for the eBay search. So you want to do whatever to get. Some people just repeat the images. I have done, uh, some of my listens have 12 images, all 12 images, but there's only like three images and I just repeated them four times. Some people do, I do that with some of my images to be honest, but I'm just doing this so I can give you an idea, a little hint. Wow, and this, I'm a, this is sweet because I could use this for one of my tips. Which one I just did? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and I want this one. So what I will do is I'll take my images from four images to eight. And the good thing about, okay, so the good thing about doing it this way, the way Diashini does it, I'm a jackass, I didn't even switch direction. The good way about listing the way we do is you don't have to list thousands and thousands of items to be successful. So the, because we don't do that, it allows us to go into detail and do all these little things. So let's upload this next four. And again, I know you guys are getting tired of me because I've been on this thing for a while, but I'll wrap it up in a second. Let me just finish this one listing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Upload. So basically, I'm uploading the four items. I just switched to reverse. So I'll wrap it up in a second. Come on, baby. My third world internet. So I did this one. I want this one, upload. If you notice, when the ones I saved in paint are a little bigger size-wise. It shows really matter. I personally don't watermark my images, that's just me. Again, I'm dealing with a, an efficient, I don't want to say lazy, but an efficient dropshipper. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I wish I could listen to the music while I fucking do this shit. And then last one. Upload. So guys, so remember, I clicked off. So all these watermarked images that this com competitor has here, I clicked all them off. And me being a complete dick, okay, so let me hit save. Me being a complete dick, because he has all these watermark items and things that will stop me from plimaging through his fucking listings, I would deliberately rape his ass. That's just me being a dick. So, right, so you go back to the homepage. So, I finished that listing, right? So, I'm just showing you guys again. So, you go back to the homepage. This is a listing. It comes up under suggestions. It adds to my eBay account. And it's listed. You see, it's listed 10597, blah, blah, blah. Item for sale, good to cancel. So I list it right now. See, the image I put is there. And that's it, guys. Okay, so. Let me wrap this up now. So again, those you those new guys. First, 
build a seller's list, whether it is 10 or 20. 10 sellers should take you 10 minutes, right? So get you to so get you 10, 20 sellers, right? You never dropped shit before. Look at this video. Or look at this video, rewind, go forward, understand what's going on. You build your competing sellers list. Boom. Every day you wake up, you come to your sellers, go to my sellers, right? These are the guys you have. You ran these before. Choose one of these morphos. Hit run seller. Okay? See if you could find any items that, that list that sold at least four times in the past 30 days. If you have, go through the listings. I as a new seller, I would not start with the cheap items because you may not find margin and get frustrated. So if you're not finding items, you either don't have a, a seller list with real competing dropshippers or you just look in the wrong places for the items. So again, build your sellers list every day, go through the sellers, list five to 10 items, stop listing, go answer your questions, answer messages, do your other part of your business, and then close off dropshipping and keep it moving. Keep that consistency every day and you would make money, guys. Okay, thanks for your time. Hopefully I answered a lot of your questions. I try to go into as much detail as possible. If you have any questions, ask. If you have any concerns, ask. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Comment, hit the like button, please. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, so subscribe. Anyway, love you guys. Comment. If you ask any questions, comment section. I'll answer them in videos. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Make that money traveling world. Love and be loved.